Hey family, happy Wednesday. I just wanted to come on real quick. I'm headed to work. It's my first day back at work after being off for three days. My husband went to the doctor yesterday and I, w I wanted to give you an update on what's been going on with him. Just to bring you up to speed, if you don't already know, uh, a week ago, my husband passed out in the shower and he went to the emergency room and they couldn't find a reason why. Well, he had a physical yesterday um, in which we did not disclose what had happened. We were going to, but our primary doctor, we have the same doctor. She is so thorough and um, she reviews your chart before you get there to see if there's anything going on or anything that she needs to remember from the last visit. And she saw that he fainted and went to the ER. So she was very concerned about that. We didn't have to go into a lot of details. She had all the details from the chart, all the test results that he had already ran. She did an EKG in the office, which came back pretty normal. Um, but she also ran, the EKG came back pretty no normal. But she also ran some blood tests that they did not run at the emergency room. Um, my husband's cholesterol is a little high. They put him on cholesterol medicine. Um, everything he eats messes with his stomach. And he's always been like that. She gave him some medicine that would help coat his stomach. Um, and she's sending him to the cardiologist. Even though his EKG came back um, normal, she wants to rule everything out as to why he passed out. She doesn't want to um, leave anything to chance. So she's, they're gonna do all the tests they can do. They're gonna run, um, we're gonna go to the cardiologist. We're waiting on them to call and make an appointment. She said if they don't call in the next week, go ahead and call them. Uh, but we're gonna give them the opportunity to call and schedule an appointment on a day that we're both off. And whatever happens with that, we will let you know. When we got to the doctor's office, his blood pressure was high. It was 150 over 90 something. And they said normal blood pressure is like 120 over 80. So in 30 minutes, they ran it again and it was 120 over 88. So I don't know if it was the anxiety of being at the doctor's office or what, but it came back down pretty quickly, so there was no cause for alarm there. Um, but she is concerned about his cholesterol because his cholesterol was high when he was there last year. And he promised to work on his diet and it was high again this year. And my husband is not a bad eater. He's not a bad eater. And I think just tweaking a couple things will help him out tremendously. So we will see how that goes. But anyway, I'll keep you up to speed as far as the doctor's office and let you know how that turns out um, when we find out. So thanks so much. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all your well wishes, all your prayers, all your thoughts, all your suggestions on what it could be. You guys are amazing. You are just like family and we appreciate you so much. So, so, so much. Thank you so much. That's the first thing. That's the first thing that I want to say um, to you guys. Like you, I shared with you um, what was going on with us and immediately you guys responded. And so I just, we appreciate you so much. We, we just really appreciate you. I've been taking a slight break. I do have a few videos that are posting this week, but um, I, I'm still taking my time with jumping back into my full routine, just being there for my husband um, and making sure that he is okay, that he's resting, that, um, that he's at peace, that everything is okay with him. And so thank you so much for that, for your patience in that, for really truly caring about us and for your prayers and well wishes. Listen, this isn't anything formal. I just walked in the door from work. I heated up my leftover spaghetti from Olive Garden. I put some cheese on it so you can't really see it. But I got the spaghetti and meatballs. 
And before we get into it, I'm gonna have to take a bite. Cause I am so hungry. My husband's at work. I just walked in the door from work. Mmm. That is so good. I want to share. Excuse me. I want to share this haul with you. I'm going to be real quick. First thing is, I ordered my mother this book. Cicely Tyson, Just As I Am. Cicely Tyson was like an icon. I was so sad to hear that she passed away. And I just had to purchase this book. Now, I got the hardback for my mom. I think I'm going to get the Kindle for myself. But I had to get it. So, I got that. It came today. I'm just going to put in a little gift bag and give it to her whenever I see her. That, that wasn't what I wanted to share. I made a Goose Creek candle order. No, I didn't buy candles. These room sprays are $7.99. And they were on sale for $1.99. Now, I couldn't leave them in the store for $1.99. So, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> so, let me unwrap them. And I'll share with you the ones that I got. And they were all $1.99. Again, they sell for $7.99. If you purchase these room sprays from anywhere, Bath and Body, DW Candle, Yankee Candle, whoever sells room sprays, the average price is anywhere between $7.99 and $9.99. But I got them for $1.99. Now, you can't beat that price. So I had to get them. I don't think I've ever seen the current ones that low. So I'm taking them all out the wrapping. They were, came three in each package. Yeah, I ordered quite a few. <laughs> so I wanted to take them all out before I go through them with you. Okay, the first one we have here is Ivory Pumpkin. Now, this is like a fall scent. Smells really good. Um, it's Ivory Pumpkin. I need to get some reading glass. Let's see if the scent notes are on here. Nope, no scent notes. But this is Ivory Pumpkin. This is Happy Autumn. Mmm. Pumpkin Cider Donut. Christmas Wreath. Fall scents. Everything I'm naming so far is a fall scent. Christmas and a winter scent. Christmas Village. Mmm. Pumpkin Sugar Churro. Vanilla Pumpkin Waffle. Mmm. Falling Leaves. Marshmallow Vanilla Pumpkin. This next one is Waffles and Cream. Mm, 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 mm. It smells like waffles and ice and, and whipped cream for real. Colorful Leaves. Black Leather. This is a manly scent. Mmm, it smells like a man's cologne. Marshmallows. 
Mmm. That smells like a manly scent too. Bright bubble bath. Mmm. Real fruity. Melon lemonade. So the black caps. were the fall and winter scents, and the gray caps are the current season, like spring. I got three, six, nine, 11 fall scents, and four of the spring scents. Now, I ordered everything they had. So what, what I'm thinking is that the newer scents were probably sold out when I ordered. So I got more of the fall scents, but I'm going to enjoy these because it, it only takes a little bit, just a little squirt and it, it makes the whole room. So we're going to use these in the restroom and this will probably last me a year. This will last me till this time next year. So to catch it at $1.99 was such a good deal. I had to pass it. I know I didn't spend a whole lot of time with it. You guys, I am so tired. It's nine minutes to 12 and I get up at nine. So I need to get in the bed. I just wanted to share with you what I got because I'm going to go and put them up. So I wanted to share them with you before I put them up. All right. So that's all I have for today. You guys, I just wanted to share that update, um, and let you know how things were going. Um, we just love you guys so much and i'm so thankful to you for this community i'm thankful not only for you here on this main channel but also on my vlog channel i am doing the best i can at getting both videos out it's not easy when this is not the only thing that you do i feel like the quality of my videos the frequency of my videos the types of things that i share on my videos would have a wider scope if that was the only thing that i did i just wanted to share with you um the wonderful find that i got and the scents that i got and i'll let you know how i like them now i ordered a bunch of candles from goose creek i'm burning one now this is a uh, soft linen breeze and i like their candles so when i saw the sale for the uh room sprays i had to get one matter of fact i'm gonna keep this one out and put it in the restaurant i had to get some at a dollar 99 you can't beat it so i just wanted to share that with you hope you guys are having an amazing day it's wednesday evening i'm gonna take my food and get in the middle of the bed and i'll see you guys later love you so much talk to you later Bye bye